Hey sailors, welcome to the crew. I'm Sealer Janda, and this is my Let's Play of Rule the Waves 3 is the United States. We remain at war with Germany and with Spain, and the situation is currently hanging in the balance in the Caribbean, where Germany has rushed a significant number of battleships and has more coming up via South America. We have our own reinforcements currently on the west coast of South America. It's possible major battleship actions could be generated as soon as the next couple of months. Uh, and there's also still tension in the Central Pacific. So without further ado, we're pretty much going to get to it. We are building two new battle cruisers, uh, six-gun battle cruisers, so we'll call them, I don't know, semi-battle cruisers. But they're not terrible. Uh, plus, a pre-dreadnought is almost completed. Plus, a couple of light cruisers and a fresh flotilla of these 700-ton Cassin-class destroyers. Okay, small engagement off of Guantanamo Bay. We're trying to invade Guantanamo Bay still, uh, as our first attempt failed because of the arrival of the German fleet. I assume this is just... it's not just going to give us destroyers, okay. We have the light cruiser Baltimore, which is one of our older Chicago-class ones, and three destroyers. This should be a pretty swift and decisive engagement one way or the other, unless they have way more than us. Okay, well, if that's a battleship, we're running away. If It can't be that battleship. Okay, it's an Infanta Maria Teresa class armored cruiser. Hmm. It has four 8-inch guns and eight 6-inch guns and 12 3-inch guns. Now, we only have 10 6-inch guns and eight 2-inch guns, so that's... we're very clearly outgunned. However, I don't see any destroyers. We have some destroyers here. If they could land a torpedo hit, we could sink that uh, ship immediately. So I think it is worth trying our luck a little bit for a sort of an upset victory here. We've just got to keep her distracted using Baltimore so that our destroyers can get a good torpedo attack in. Dang, okay, alright, we're landing a lot of hits with our 6-inch guns on Baltimore, at least. Now, their armor's not that thick. I believe our 6-inch guns penetrate... They should penetrate their armor at anything 5,000 yards and closer. I'm pretty sure we're like... Yeah, we're only 2,600 yards away. We should easily be penetrating her armor, so... We could be doing some pretty major damage right now. Fortunately, Spain's gunnery seems to be pretty terrible, and wow! I think we might have... Honestly, that's enough hits. We might have be winning this one without the destroyers landing a torpedo hit. Jenkins is launching torpedoes. It's gonna miss. Probably was in danger of torpedoing Baltimore there. Wow. Okay, we didn't land the torpedo hit, but it did not matter. That was actually pretty brutal. Um... So we lost, you know, we took two hits to Baltimore, a couple of hits to Winslow, but it survived, and we just completely shot Infanta Maria Teresa to hell and sank her immediately. Well done. Uh, just a second. The stream is a little... okay. So that's a major win. Ah, improvements in productivity boost our industrial production. Alliance between Russia and Italy. Problematic. 
Ah, better six inch guns. Okay, that's good because I use a lot of six inch guns. For light cruisers at least. I'm not a weird caliber sort of guy. Alright, hold on. So that's a win. Spain is now down to five armored cruisers in service, and that was one of the better ones, I think. No, that's a lie. It's one of the smaller ones. Uh, the one to really watch out for is Cataluna. Or, well, it's actually Belires, but it's of the Cataluna class. I forget what happened to Cataluna herself. Okay, there we go. I believe we figured out the stream issue now. All right, yeah. Sorry about that, YouTube viewers. You have no idea what's going on. Um, so the situation is, where did Germany's battleships go? I don't quite know where they went. I feel like they're not in the Caribbean. Unless they, like, shifted some into the Caribbean. Unless they moved the ones that were already in the Caribbean out of it as the new ones arrived. Are they just calling all their forces back to Europe or something? Well, in any case, we're about to have a lot of reinforcements arrive in the Caribbean, and at that point we should be able to just bully our way through Guantanamo Bay. And we are embarking. Battleship Engagement Invasion Battle. All right. This is where it's at, folks. And our Japanese allies have joined our force. Looks like we have got a pretty fantastically large fleet here. Yeah, this is definitely the largest we've deployed in this campaign, I think. The battleships Oklahoma, North Dakota, Montana, and Illinois, which are... Three of them are Oklahoma class. Are they all Oklahoma class? Is this just all four of the Oklahoma class? Yeah, it is. All four Oklahoma class battleships. Not our newest, but not our worst either. Uh, the Japanese armored cruisers Kinugasa and Aso. Our light cruisers Cincinnati, Minneapolis, and Baltimore. Our armored cruisers Huron, Pittsburgh, Huntington, and Pueblo. And what? A total of five Japanese and four, six, eight of our own destroyers. It's a large force we have here. And all we've got to do is escort this lovely little convoy of merchants to that point there, just off of Guantanamo Bay for the invasion. How Spain is holding just Guantanamo Bay? Why we're invading Guantanamo Bay by sea when we control all of the land around it? That I can't tell you. What I can tell you is that I'm fairly confident that there's nothing in this map that can stand in our way at this point. That might be battleships, but if it is, we will destroy them, frankly. I am going to have this whole armored cruiser element form itself into line ahead, because we don't have enough battleships to have our armored cruisers be on scout duties, really. Alright, that's a big formation. Well, it's not, though. It's one armored cruiser, two armored cruisers, probably. Plus, that might be destroyers. If so, they just absolutely don't have a... Yeah, it's two armored cruisers and some destroyers, I think. They have no chance against... Of actually... Unless we make a critical error and go way away from our invasion convoy for some reason, if they try to get close to us, our battleships will just pulverize them. I don't know where their destroyers are even going. Our battleships can only make 14 knots because of issues, but uh, it's a dead calm. The range is coming down very rapidly. And our battleships are in good sighting range of these two very unfortunate armored cruisers. 
I think this is just going to be a turkey shoot of two of Spain's better remaining warships, probably. I should keep something to keep an eye on the convoy, I guess, but it's just hanging out back here. I don't see anything threatening it. The only real issue is that our accuracy is terrible, but... Uh, Is Huron not part of this division? Apparently not. I don't know why she's separate. Everything I ignored back here is going to get left behind, but it doesn't really matter. I don't need any of it to deal with what we're actually dealing with here. I think their AI sort of forces them to be pretty stubborn about trying to get through to our convoy, but they're only going to pay for that. Unless we literally run out of ammo before we land some damaging hits, they're just going to die. I mean, they can outrun us, but it's about all they can do. I don't think they can really even outrun my armored cruiser division, which is also more powerful than them. They might be just headed for port. Honestly, it'd be a shame not to sink them with this kind of force preponderance, but at least the invasion would come off successfully, so I'd take it. We are almost in firing range for the armored cruisers, but all it takes is one or two good hits and we could disable one enough to catch up before they reach port. It hasn't Isn't that the second time Destroyer Division 14 has misunderstood orders? I think they've got issues. Oh well. We're firing on the Infanta Maria Teresa. I think they're just about to enter port, though. Unfortunately. Yeah. Okay, well, they've escaped us, but, like... Only at the cost of completely conceding the battlefield to us. There's the whole convoy. Still looks like the Japanese pretty much hung back with some of our destroyers and are escorting it. I don't think there's any further threat to us, honestly. I'm just going to run the game on the fastest speed it'll let me and we'll cruise around and escort this convoy. If something does try to attack it, we'll kill it, but I'm not sure anything is left. I don't know where... Th I think the German battleships might have just all bailed back to Germany, which is kind of cowardly of them, but uh, I guess why would they fight for Spain's possessions? But they're at war with us, so... Poor Spain at this point is just being bullied. I really do think all of their... Either they're just being weird about it, or all of their ships are short... All their battleships are short-ranged, in which case they're just going to get annihilated. Okay, I can see two of their destroyers sailing around over there, but it's kind of dangerous to get that close to the minefield with my battleships, so... This blue circle is a minefield, if you don't know, so... You can't enter that. Okay, we've left the transports a little far behind, considering there are still a couple of destroyers around. Right, I don't know why the transports decided to go that way, but I imagine they'll figure themselves out. Maybe they got spooked by the destroyers. Man, that poor patrol boat is uh, not having a good time, probably. Can I take command of these? Like, you guys are being dumb. Nope. Okay. Didn't think so, but... Man, a lot of people are misunderstanding orders, considering I'm not really giving any orders. What on earth are these transports doing? There we go. Did they just turn around again? What are they doing?
Okay, it's dark now. Would you guys like to make your way to your objective, or...? I don't understand why they're sailing away from the objective. I really don't. Hopefully I don't, like, fail the mission just because they're really dumb. Okay, the Japanese are sailing off in a weird direction. Okay, the transports, I think, are finally actually headed towards the objective. Maybe, so... Yeah, looks like it. Alright, this is promising. I don't know why we wasted, like, five hours sailing the other way for no reason. But, uh, seems like we're finally on the way. Unknown ship. Oh, shoot, did one of those destroyers actually come out of port? Uh, guys, what's this thing barreling into the middle of our formation? Okay, I don't know what it is. I hope it's not a destroyer that's about to torpedo us, but it is about to suffer a lot. It's a destroyer. Hopefully it didn't torpedo us. That is why I ordered this emergency turn. And another one. And it's definitely going to die, because we've hit it a lot of times for it being a destroyer. Christ. Oh, God. Oh, God. Well. Um. It's not sunk. It didn't have a mine de or a uh, magazine detonation or anything. We're just going to... We're so close to Santiago, actually. Um. Can we detach? We can detach ships now, actually, right? Yeah. Hopefully she doesn't do it at, like, Mac. I've seen the AI be real dumb about this before. It looks like she's going 11 knots. That's fine. Going at high speed can cause flooding to worsen, so... I mean, we're only... Uh, we're literally 30, 40 miles from Santiago, so... If she can just limp back there, she should be all right. She hasn't taken any other damage. Without a big detonation, she should be able to survive one torpedo hit. Still, destroyers at night are a battleship's nightmare, but... Uh... All right, we're, we're here. The merchants should be here in a second. transports. Or they, it does call them merchants, but they should be transports for our troops. Why they're amphibious landing Guantanamo Bay, don't know, but uh, whoa. What's the sound effect for? What are we shooting? No idea. What? Oh, something's shooting at our transports. Crikey. Is there a land battery or something, maybe? There must be a land battery, which I didn't see before. Yep, there's one. Okay. I'm just going to have my battleship slow to a halt right here, and we're just going to shoot everything we got at that land battery right there. Oof, those Japanese destroyers are kind of getting battered. Whoopsies. Well, that's kind of what happens, guys. Oh, daylight? That could help. There's a couple of four-inch field batteries here. Unfortunately, our battleships are really inaccurate, but on the other hand, it's four-inch guns we're dealing with. I don't feel like it's... Shouldn't be too hard to just bombard them into submission. Of 
Of course they were. Wait, where is the first armored cruiser division? I want them to get into... They must be here somewhere. I just don't see them in this horrifying... Oh, they're right here on top of our battleships. Okay. Just maybe creep your way around and... Try to also engage the field better. Okay, we've reached our objective. Excellent. Oh, you're going to screw this up, aren't you? All right. Out to sea first. And then that way. What is the range to these? It's... What happened to the range thing? Okay. Well, it can scarcely be 5,000 yards or something, and they're stationary. We are not very accurate here. Fortunately, for the most part, neither is this coastal battery, but... Uh... Okay, it's on fire a little. Well, the first one is. Yeah, we're just going to park these guys right here, and we are going to keep on bombarding until it's dead. We're certainly getting hits. It's just... It is quite a miserable process, bombarding ground targets like this, but um, I suppose it's not unrealistic for it to be. Do, 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 die already. Oh, we killed one. All right. One left. Maybe I will have the battleships sort of sneak around and get into a similar position to the armored cruisers. They might be too far away from this one to get good hits. Alrighty. Yeah, we're running, outright running low on ammo because of how... Oh, it's dead, I think. Alright, that's excellent news. We've killed two coastal batteries. It did cost us a Japanese destroyer in one of our transports, but I don't care about either of those things at all, so... Unknown ship where? Guessing it's that other destroyer still lurking around by the Spanish base, but it'll be... Is it? It is. Probably, or that Corvette even. I'm just going to ignore it. The game should end at 1400 minutes, so... Really? No? Because we can see that stupid destroy. Oh, because Cincinnati has independently decided to charge over to the base here and try to shoot that patrol boat. Why? Please just... don't. That's not even a patrol boat that's like an actual ship. It's just a little generated guard ship. Okay. 
Okay, I'm gonna tell the whole fleet to sail back to Santiago, and hopefully the battle will end in a moment. We've got to stop worrying about this Corvette that's cruising around over there. It's not a concern, guys. Sure. We did lose a couple of merchants to that coastal battery. I think I did not notice it until there we go. Okay, so we lost one Japanese destroyer, we lost two merchants. Oh my god, we didn't sink that stupid destroyer. I don't know how we didn't, but... Uh, the, where even is it? T1 here. I guess just because it was so close to port, but I mean it's on the absolute brink of sinking, but somehow limped back. We unfortunately did lose the destroyer Sagiri from Japan. Uh, but we did do some damage to Reina Mercedes here. And Montana, despite that torpedo hit, did limp back to base successfully. So no significant losses on either side. And hopefully a bunch of victory points, yeah. We are... I'm just going to call it the Battle of Guantanamo Bay. Hopefully we'll finally shortly take Guantanamo Bay. Oh boy. July of 1906, Great Britain has completed HMS Empress of India, the first dreadnought battleship. Which, I guess it would be the Empress of India type battleship in this uh, world, but... Oopsies. Don't worry about that, folks, we're fine. So now, where did the German battleships go? They're not here anymore. It's almost just us and our Japanese friends. We have a ridiculous preponderance of force in the Caribbean. We have a strong preponderance of force in the Central Pacific. I think everything that Spain and Japan has has gone back to Northern Europe. I don't know why, but... Uh... Enemy coastal raid? I don't believe you. Yeah. They're going to start declining battles unless they can get, like, more ships here, because the Economizer, 1% weight saving on machinery. We're struggling with contra-rotating this. Enemy fortifications holding up our advance. How well did they fortify this damn thing? Oh my god. And Japan has managed to lose the armored cruiser Furutaka and the destroyers Uzuki and Hatsuyuki for just the German destroyer S-61. Japan is really suffering from this war for, you know... The fact that they're just a minor ally of ours, really. Estimated enemy force is nine, but... Uh, well, I'm not refusing, so this could be it, folks. I didn't see them move their battleships back into the Caribbean, but... Uh, this could be a hell of a fight, especially since one of our battleships had condenser trouble and is out for this turn, I think. And it's right off Miami, too. Thanks for watching, sailors. I hope you enjoyed the video. New parts should be up daily, or you can watch live on Twitch. If you did enjoy the video, consider leaving a like or subscribing. This is Sea Lord Janda, signing off.